And I tell you what, yes. having been out a while now and doing what we do, it's I tell the guys, I'm like, hey man, for every 10 you're in, it takes about two to detox, right? And we get ramped so far up when we go out the door. We're different than every other unit, you know that. So when, we, when, we, when we're in there, it's different. <clears throat> it's almost as if in order to pull that back, you have to take and put them in an, in an, an arena that is so far from war that it's almost as if the war we were in, we fought one, and now this is the peace we get afterwards. Because that, that's why you ultimately you fight. You fight for peace. And that's in like a street fight in a school. I was like, hey, man, there, there's something. Uh, people overlook how, how important peace is just to have, just to have that calm, right? So when we're fighting Absolutely. like that and you stick them in an arena where they all they can do is fish, <laughs> yeah. right? And just there's no nature, ain't nobody yelling, screaming, or trying to kill you. It, it'll do the same thing as war does in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then you come back into the medium, which is which is life, right? Back Brings in, that mindset yeah, yeah. back instead sure. of being like such high adrenaline for well, so long where you're fight or flight, you're coming back to that um, kind of mentality of, there's not so many triggers going on. Um, and then we're really hoping it's what you're saying. Like when you get out, you need so many years to decompress from it. So we're really hoping this will be a preventative measure for the guys while they're still active. Yeah. Sure. Well, I was thinking about this too. It ought almost be another uh, enlistment. Like when you get out, your ass is up for another four. You're yeah. four transitioning out. Like decompressing, you're going to school, we're going to get you a job. I mean, as well-trained as they are, that shouldn't be an issue. It's like we cut that piece off for whatever reason, or it just hadn't been implemented. Yeah. But if you're thinking about it, the ramp up and the ramp down it should be just the opposite of itself. And then the, the guys won't have that, and the guys won't have that, that, that extreme issue because normally I think what we run into, the problems we run into is what the military takes care for for us. Medical, dental, housing, all that. You know, they just meals, food, like normal stuff. So we can concentrate on our job. And then you guys get tied up around that. But yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you guys kind of have the same thing going on there. You know, I've known a lot of the military spouses that have come out with you. And even some of the, like some personal couples that I know that have gone out to your guys' ranch and just took a week to yeah. decompress, hike, be together, you know, and it's just immeasurable, like how much that's helpful to the to the couple to the family yeah. sure. even to the spouse herself yeah. or the team guy two yeah. weeks is pretty much what you need to form a habit or to break one mm -hmm. so if you give it 16 up to 20 well, days, it's just like a, it's a detox for your whole system yeah i mean it's it's so special that you're providing a place so close to the base yeah that's that, key right yeah, there that most people don't duty, want to travel yeah well the active duty guys can just take their wives up there take their kids that really is huge and land is so expensive. Like most foundations can't afford know, something like, what like that. Saying? So that's, <laughs> that's really, really cool that y'all have. And that. you have a Christmas tree farm. <laughs> yeah, you're the coolest. We were very blessed. Who is this? What's her name? You know, yeah, help in the beginning. It. And the lady who we got the ranch for had this crazy kind of story. Cause we made this video talking about how Charlie loved Pepsi so much. And he drank it all the time, which is why he was probably so shaky. And she, I believe, was married to one of, you know, the largest shareholders or something that had to do with PepsiCo. Oh, my god! And watch that video. Now. That's how you got that? <laughs> Marcus has an opposite that, story. Right? All right. So <laughs> to, that's funny because I, <clears throat> I loved Pepsi. I loved Pepsi up to the point I got my ass kicked in Afghanistan and that Pepsi bottle that I had to drink out of. That, and all I knew was because it had the lid on it. She probably doesn't know what we're talking about. Yeah, there's right. a... Oh, yeah, tell me the story. What is yeah, it? Okay, this? so when Marcus oh, was in um in the village, in the village. during Red Wing, um, there was a Pepsi bottle. Three liter. In the village. Oh. That they got water out. Of. Like, they gave it to him to drink water. And he... I met him five years after... Operation Red Wing. He still had the stomach virus five years later that he had from drinking out of that Pepsi bottle. All right. So imagine a three liter Pepsi bottle, right? But after sun hits it for a long time and it gets scratched up, you can't really, I couldn't see through it, right? And then the lid was completely polished white, but you could barely see the Pepsi logo on it. Yeah. And they brought that thing to me. I was like, sweet Pepsi. And I, I think they might have had it jammed up a goat's ass for a couple months before I got a hold of it. Because whatever, the sm it was probably a joke right there playing on me. And I would, I'd have to throw up. Oh, my God. And they would huh. they would transport me throughout the village. And I would purposely throw that thing down the side of the mountain and lose it on yeah. purpose. 
I mean, this happened multiple yeah. times. This is how funny this is. They kept bringing the pet. They kept bringing that back. damn thing back. <laughs> yeah. So if you I would throw it off the mountain. <laughs> If you read Lone Survivor <laughs> in the book, with the the Pepsi bottle is actually something that a lot of people bring, bring up. up. Yeah, They're like, funny. has he ever drank Pepsi, Pepsi after Pepsi that? Bottle, because it gave no, him. Was it Pepsi in it? Or was no, it was water. It was water. It was just water, but it was the Pepsi dirty, bottle. I love Pepsi. I love Pepsi. Water. I drank yeah. a mess out of it. Right? But it was it's just. Like this whole. It's just the mental thing. The Pepsi bottle, it, he ended up getting such a bad stomach virus. I was so sick from it. He ju- he got rid of it, like, what, three years ago or so? But a It's a funny story now. I time. can't believe something can stay with you that long. Yeah. That it was, like, in your hey, body, that's insane. You can't believe it's what happened to me. very gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very gross. Come on, girl. You know by now. You yeah. can't believe what happens to seals. <laughs> this is the Team Never Quit Podcast. Podcast. So buckle up, buttercup.